now that we have an understanding of node modules, let's do our first exercise to further our understanding of node modules with an example in this exercise. So to get started, let's go to a convenient location on our computer. So here I am in my documents Coursera folder where I have the files from all the previous courses. So I'm going to create a new folder here named Node.js and this folder is where I'm going to store all the code related to the Node.js course. So going into the Node.js folder, let's create a subfolder here named Node Examples. And in this folder, we're going to be uh, creating the files related to this exercise. Open a terminal window or a command window and then navigate to the node examples folder uh, at the prompt. And then um, at the prompt, type npm in it to initialize this folder as a uh, node um, application. So uh, to type npm in it and then it'll come up with some standard um, default values for some uh, information that it is going to store in a file named package.json. So for the um, name, let's type node examples and version is 1.1.0 and uh, description, I'll simply type simple node examples. And the entry point is index.js, the default value. For the test command, just leave it as such. And the git repository, for the moment, we'll leave it as such. And uh, for the author, just fill in your name and the rest. And then npm in it will show the default uh, value that it will set up in the package.json file. So as we have learned, the package.json file is the manifest file for a node application. And once you complete this, you will notice that the package.json file is created in the node examples folder. Let's open this project in uh, a, a, an editor of our choice. So I'm going to open my Visual Studio code um, at this folder. When my Visual Studio code it opens uh, in the folder. I'm going to go to the scripts here and set up a script here saying start and I'll say node index and then save the changes to the package.json file. Next, I'm going to create a folder here and name it as index.js and as you realized uh, the main here is uh, given as index.js file. So this is the starting file for my node application. So in the index.js file, I'm going to create a simple example uh, to illustrate various features of node and how we will construct node modules. So here we'll construct an example that will uh, evaluate the area and the perimeter of a rectangle. A very simple example that that helps us to illustrate various aspects about node and node modules. So to get started, type var rect and we're going to create a, a JavaScript object here with two properties, perimeter, which is a function. And um, as you see, I am using the arrow function to define this uh, uh, function here. So um, node in its current uh, version supports ES6 or ES2015. And so that is why I'm going to in, use the arrow function support that is available in ES2015 to define this function here. And if you have taken the previous um, courses where we use TypeScript, this would be quite familiar to you. Now with node, we have the option of uh, using JavaScript or TypeScript. Now, the uh, documentation for Node and also Express that we will see later 
all use the standard JavaScript. So I have defaulted to using standard JavaScript in this course, or ES 2015 JavaScript in this course. If you prefer to use TypeScript, you can set up your um, node examples to write your application in TypeScript, but then you will have to transpile that code into JavaScript so that it can be run using Node. So uh, you have to set up additional infrastructure in order to be able to use TypeScript. In this course, I'm going to use JavaScript as the default language throughout the rest of the course. And I'm not going to go into TypeScript um, usage in this course. When Node starts supporting TypeScript uh, natively, then it makes more sense to move to TypeScript at that point. But if you are interested in TypeScript, I have noticed that there have been several blog articles posted by different people that illustrate how you can set up your Node application to use TypeScript. Having said that, let's return to the index.js file and then continue with our example. So I'm setting up a perimeter here and then also an area um, function here. Again, taking two values, x and y, which represent the length and the breadth of the rectangle, uh, the two parameters, and the area is computed as x times y. So uh, from your um, uh, primary school mathematics, you know how to compute the uh, parameter and the area of a rectangle. So here I have set up this JavaScript object here. And then let me define a function here uh, named solve rectangle, which takes two values, L and B as the two parameters, the length and the breadth of the rectangle. And then it is going to use this um, JavaScript object that I have defined earlier in order to compute the perimeter and the area of the rectangle. So inside here, let me do a console log and say solving for rectangle with L equal to. This is just for our convenience. So that will print out this information onto the um, terminal there. And so in this console log, I'm just printing out the L and B values so that I know uh, for the rectangle for which we are computing the length of the breadth. Now, I'm going to check to make sure the length and the breadth are not less than or equal to zero. If they are less than or equal to zero, then it doesn't make sense to compute the perimeter and the area for a rectangle. So I will say console log here. So I would say rectangle dimensions should be greater than zero. So that way we print out these values onto the screen if the length and the breadth are less than or equal to zero. Otherwise, of course, it makes sense to compute the perimeter and the area of the rectangle. So we'll say else console log the area of, of the rectangle is So here I am computing the value of the rectangle by calling rect.area. So we are calling this function that is supplied inside this JavaScript object here to compute the area of the rectangle here. Similarly, we'll compute the 
the perimeter of the rectangle here. So inside this function, we are computing the area and the perimeter of the rectangle and printing it out. Now, we obviously need to call this function using different values for length and breadth and see what it prints out. So right below here, I'm going to say solve rect and then just use some values here. So I'll say two, four and three, five. And let's say zero, five and see what happens and minus minus three five so four different uh, choices of parameters here to illustrate how this application is going to work so with this let's save the changes now going back to the terminal at the prompt type npm start and you would see that it prints out the area and the perimeter for the different rectangles that we have specified there. So we are saying solving for the rectangle with L is equal to two and B is equal to four and the area and the perimeter for this rectangle and for the second one and for the third one, as you see, your um, uh, dimension should be greater than zero. And for the fourth one also, it is printing out the same value. Now, obviously, I noticed that I would need a space there. So we, I will just correct the code to uh, add in that extra space there. So with this, we have seen how we can write a simple node application to compute the perimeter and the area of a rectangle. Now, obviously, you want to be able to set up a Git repository where you can store all these um, uh, code. So at the prompt, type git init to initialize the Git repository. And then um, you can check the status of the Git repository. And you notice that two files have been newly created. So let's add the two files to our Git repository. And um, at this point, um, checking the git status, you see that the two files have been checked in. So let's do a git commit with the message simple node example. In the second part of this uh, exercise, we're going to now um, create a node module in this example. So at the editor, in the editor, create a file named rectangle.js. And inside this file, we're going to create a node module. So we're going to um, use the exports um, object in order to export the two um, values from this node module. So as you have learned, every file in a node application becomes its own node module. So from within this rectangle node module, I'm going to export two values, the perimeter and the area. Now, I'm going to go into index.js file and then simply copy this value and that is what we will use as the export for the perimeter here and similarly for the area i'm just going to copy this from the index.js file and then use that for the area so now we have a simple node module ready which is exporting two values the perimeter and the area from this rectangle.js file. So as we have learned in the lecture uh, where we learned about node modules, now once you create a node module, you need to import that node module into another file where you want to make use of it. So going back to 
index.js file. Now I'm going to replace this whole thing by require and I note that this node module is in the same folder as the current project. So I would say require rectangle and that's it. So my changes are now complete. So this particular um, index.js file is going to import the rectangle node module that we have just created and then make use of it within our code here. So let's save the changes and then take a look at our application again at the terminal prompt. Going to the terminal, at the prompt, type npm start. You will notice that the modified version of this application produces exactly the same results as before. With this, we learn about how you can create a simple node module in our application. Now, uh, checking the git status, you see that you have two files, one which has been modified, another one which has just been added. So let's add this to our git repository and then do a git commit with the message simple node module. And check the git log and you will notice that we have two um, commits that we have committed to our Git repository there. With this, we complete this exercise. In this exercise, we have seen how we can write a simple node application and also how we can write a simple node module and use it within another file in our node application. <music>